So just before Christmas, we had the general uh, appropriations bill, just the annual appropriations bill pass that actually included the COVID relief elements inside of it. So it's called the Consolidated Appropriations Act of 2021. How that's different from the CARES Act that we've been talking about since March of 2020 is that the CARES Act was a standalone package for COVID relief. This is actually folded in with all of the other funding for the federal agencies for the 2021 fiscal year. People have already started seeing the effects. The, the um, stimulus payment has already made it into a lot of people's checking accounts. That was included in that Consolidated Appropriations Act. And there will be other elements that begin to come out across time that were part of that package. Let's talk about agriculture uh, more specifically. What do we know about the funding levels and, and any details that you might have at this point? Yeah, so actually $13 billion was set aside for agricultural programs in that bill. Uh, most of this is going to go into actually recharging the Commodity Credit Corps, the CCC fund. Uh, the CCC, if you'll recall, is what we do a lot of our disaster program payments out of, whether that's for hurricanes back in 2018, 2019, or our annual crop disaster programs that we see. So $13 billion in CCC recharge. We already know that $1.5 billion is gonna be spent on food purchases. This is a great way to connect uh, some additional purchasing power for our farmers, for their commodities, and those products are actually put into food boxes that go to hungry families and, and actually meet that connection of the two needs during COVID times. So what do we know so far uh, about how the money will be divided up? And I'm sure patience is the key as we change administrations. Absolutely. We don't really know what the timing is going to be in terms of how these payments are going to come out or even what they will look like. Certainly there's been a lot of discussion. So while we don't have a lot of details, it looks like there may be some additional funds for agricultural producers, but it may build off of the CFAP2 program. We're waiting for USDA to make their announcement, and of course, um, they're looking at the administrative transition right now as well. Okay, well, keep us posted. Thanks a lot, Amy. Thank you.